Okay, guys, today I want to talk to you about how you find your niche. And the reason some of you are struggling finding your niche and getting started is because you're making the big mistake of looking at other people to either tell you what your niche should be, or you're looking at other people that may be a hero to you, someone who's very successful, they're making a lot of money, and you look to that person or those people, and you think, that's what I need to do. That needs to be what my niche because they're successful, they're making money. The problem with that is, the niche that is successful for other people may not be successful for you. And you've got to discover and really latch on to that niche that wakes you up in the morning, the thing that will drive you to stay in it, to win it, to make a difference. And so today, I want to show you exactly how to begin to expand your thinking as you discover your niche to get your business off the ground. So here we have it. Uh, there are three, what we call three evergreen niches. These are areas that will just never go away. They're always going to be uh, valuable. They're all, you can monetize these niches and that is health, health and beauty. I would say health, wealth, and love. And then we're going to talk about hobbies in just a moment. But those three niches, health, wealth, and love, they will always be around. So as you think about your niche, this is the, the topic, the the idea that you're going to build your entire business around. The reason that it's so important to get this right is because when you build your business, you need to be excited about learning whatever your topic is. You, you need to be stay excited about the process. And if you're trying to do a, a business or you're trying to create uh, wealth around someone else's niche, you're going to lose interest. You're not going to stay with it. You're going to go, who cares? You know, you may get off to a great start and you wonder why you kind of kind of poop out after a while. But uh, the truth is, you've got to find something that, that that gets your motor running. It gets you fired up. You get excited about these. So what I want to do is just show you these three are evergreen. They will always be money makers, but begin to expand the way you think about your niche. For example, health and beauty, health. Begin thinking about in your life, if that if that were your niche, how it would look like eating healthy. You can create an entire business model around eating healthy and about and monetizing this and creating uh, teaching videos and teaching platforms to help people understand how to eat more healthy or losing weight or becoming a vegetarian. Here, here's how I became a vegetarian. And there are just a thousand uh, different ways that you can begin to, uh, to monetize and grow that niche. So what I want you to think, anti-aging, overcoming eating disorders, building muscle, hair and makeup is huge uh, right now. Sexual health, yoga, meditation, those are another big, big, huge uh, niches. But these are not all of them. I'm just simply giving you a guideline here that if you think, when you think about your niche, your thing, the thing you're going to build your entire business around, it's got to excite you. And you've got to begin to open up your mind and think differently about a niche. Think it can just be anything. So begin to, to get a, a paper uh, in the morning or evening whenever you're sharp and you're mulling over your business plan, what drives you, what motivates you, what gets you up in the morning. Uh, begin writing those things down because out of that, you're going to discover the thing that really is going to become your, your niche, wealth. So if wealth would be your niche, now look how it could break out. It could go in, 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 in hundreds of different of directions. You could be in the stock market and investing, and that could be your, um, you know, that's your expertise. And you can teach that. You can grow that. You can market courses in that. You can make money by monetizing a niche in the stock market investing. Affiliate marketing is huge right now. We do a lot of affiliate marketing. It's not hard, but there is a skill set you've got to learn. And uh, once you learn that skill set, affiliate marketing can be a huge thing. Small business, couponing, uh, creating your budget. People don't know how to budget. It's amazing. So if you can teach someone, and there are a lot of folks now 
that are making a lot of money teaching you how to create a budget, how to get out of debt, and how to handle your money. Finding travel deals, big, big niche there. So think about, when you think about your niche, open it up a little bit. Love, remember the three evergreen areas, health, wealth, and love, they will always be money makers, always. How to get a date, please your partner. Overcoming divorce. Uh, spicing up your marriage. It goes on and on and on and on and on. So as you think about that three evergreen uh, niches that you can find almost in every single uh, business today, it fits in under one of these three categories. Do not forget hobbies. We live in a day where you can monetize your hobby for crying out loud. How many people you know that are making money teaching you how to travel or the golf industry? Right now you've got uh, online golf lessons and how to find a golf course and it goes on and on and on and gardening and cooking. How many people uh, that are just great cooks and they're, they've monetized that. They've learned how to make a living out of their hobby or grilling. Uh, how to be a, a master griller or, or just be a how to do barbecue or how to grill. I mean, it just goes on and on. So don't forget about your hobbies. So picking your niche, there are three evergreen niches. Expand those out to things that really get you fired up and get you going. And don't forget your hobbies because you can monetize these things. You can grow your niche and you really can make it become the life that you want to live. Now that you see that your niche can fall under three really umbrellas, and when you pick your niche, I guarantee you, you'll find one of those places, one of those umbrellas that it will fit under. The reason this is so important is the niche has to be you. It has to be you and no one else because you've got to have the fire. You've got to have the, the energy. You've got to have the interest to learn and grow in your niche to expand it to business. So make it yours and no one else's. Don't allow anyone else to tell you what you need to do. Don't wait. Hey, don't wait for anyone else to tell you. Don't look at other people and think because their niche is great, I need to go and do that niche. It's got to be something that grows out of your heart, your passion, and your soul. And then there's another thing about niches is that when you pick it and you think this is the thing, man, this is what gets me fired up. This is the thing I can teach. This is I can grow this business. I can reach an audience with this business. I can help people transition is what we do. Whatever your niche may be, allow your niche to grow and expand. Don't be so locked in. I think one of the reasons that we get stuck trying to find our niches is that we think we've got to find it, got to lock into it, and then we can never move because you know we're going to build our entire business around this niche and put all of our, our product line together. But allow your niche to get started in a direction and then allow it to be transformed. For example, in our business, we started out with really trying to just be do life coaching and it was a pretty a broad a broad banner. We went from life coaching to small business and over the years what we've done is kind of zeroed in on the main thing we do now is help people transition. How do you transition successfully? So our niche started out in one area but over the years you begin to really hone in on what you're good what your skills are, how you reach your people, how you build an audience. So pick your niche, get dialed in on it, learn everything you can, you can learn about it, stay active, grow, grow, grow in your niche and allow it to expand and morph into something that you don't even know about yet and you'll be well on your way to having a successful business transitioning into the life that you really want to live.